Parents face a daunting task when it comes to choosing quality child care for their children. But there are some agencies who are willing to lend a helping hand in the search. Whether it's directed toward humans or animals, abuse has lasting consequences for the victim. Any act of abuse should be considered a warning that there are other underlying issues. The New York State branch of the NAACP is committed to education about social and political issues. At the center of this year's conference is the Affordable Care Act. The goal is to help the delegates educate other people about the new health care law. Onondaga Lake Park will play host to a 5K fundraiser for Gigi's Playhouse on October 12th. These are the younger kids over here. Gigi's Playhouse is a nonprofit organization that works with people who have Down syndrome. Any increase in any fees will cut into our profits from the 5K that we need. Its only sources of funding are donors. With heavy Down syndrome, I find it very interesting to come to. We have many different activities going on. If Onondaga County Park fees rise, it won't be just people who suffer. Are we clear for takeoff? The Central New York SPCA, like Gigi's, relies on donor contribution, and it uses the county parks for animal adoption and fundraising. No matter how painful it is, um, it's, I, I understand the need to because um, everything costs more. Because of its size, facilities, and visibility from the street, Onondaga Lake Park is popular for fundraisers and other activities. If the 2014 county budget is passed as is, some nonprofit organizations will have to consider other options. By raising rates, we may have to look at going somewhere else. To make this decision, nonprofits will have to weigh price against convenience. We probably would seek out areas uh, and spots that may not require an increase in the fee, uh, but still would allow us to have the traffic required. Uh, to make it a profitable event. The county legislature will vote on the 2014 budget on October 8th. Norman Seawright, NCC News. <laughs> Fearful animals are often victims of abuse. There was actually just a case last week where they found a dog in somebody's attic, um, skin and bones, eating the wood on the walls and the floor. Advocates believe there should be stronger laws to protect these animals. But discussion in the state legislature is slow moving. We've had animals here who have been in court processes for months, years, because um, they don't get a priority. Meanwhile, this dog could be adopted by someone who is not best suited for animals. People that abuse or neglect animals tend to have um, criminal histories. The issue of passing stricter legislation to protect animals from abuse is one that organizations like the SPCA say need more attention in the state legislature. However, laws that prevent known animal abusers from adopting from shelters do carry their own weaknesses. With tougher laws, the SPCA can potentially rescue more animals. If people know that there's going to be some follow through, they might be more ready to uh, make reports. An animal abuser registry is a viable way to protect animals already in shelters. Shelters will know that these people aren't adequate pet owners. But it's difficult to enforce, especially when people adopt pets from other people. So many people are so desperate to find homes for their, their pets that they're having to give away on Craigslist. Until there is more discussion about stronger animal abuse laws, shelters will continue to rely on background checks. Norman Seawright, NCC News. It feels like delicate and cared for. Yeah, this is... From picking out a bowl, to buying it, to eating soup out of it. The Empty Bowls event gives everyone involved a chance to do some good. I am so thrilled to be able to give back to the community because I've been fortunate and blessed to have a life in a field that I love and have so much passion for. Everything at the event is donated, from the food to the clay for the hundreds of bowls, many of which are made by Syracuse University students. So on a personal level, it's a giving back and also teaching the students about the importance of sharing their time and talents in a way that is really meaningful. Empty Bowls is just one fundraiser that promotes charity in central New York. But when someone buys one of these bowls, the impact is local rather than global. I think it's just nice to um, be a part of the local community um, and to help people that you know are around you and you can see the effects. All of the proceeds go to the Interreligious Food Consortium. 
which supports more than 70 emergency food programs in Onondaga County. I like the fact that it's a grassroots organization that does have a lot of bureaucracy at all. We can all get together and we can solve things very quickly. People want to help, so and then we give them the opportunity. It doesn't have to be, it can be big, but it doesn't have to. That little bit added to a lot of little bits makes a big difference. The organization relies on private and faith-based donors, truly making them a local charity. From downtown Syracuse, Norman Seawright, NCC News.